So you want to upgrade your Ender 3 or your Ender 3 Pro and you want to make it future proof for more upgrades. Then the Big 3Tech SKR Mini E3 version 2 is your board. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints. This channel is about 3D printing. Here you can find tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news and other things about 3D printing. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit also the notifications button when I release new videos that you will get a notification about those videos. And hey, thanks for being here. Like I mentioned in the intro, today we are going to install the Big 3 tech SKR Mini E3 version 2 mainboard. Of course, there can be many reasons why you are going to do this upgrade. In my case, I fried my SKR Mini E3 1.2 mainboard, that's this one, because I was working with the power supply unit and I switched the two black wires and caused that this board is not usable anymore. Well, it gave me the opportunity to buy a new one and install it as well. So the SKR Mini E3 version 2. It's a upgraded board, like you can see. On this board, you have five connectors for five stepper motors. That means that the two here is going to provide a second stepper motor for your Z axis. This board can also be used for the Ender 3 Pro to a newer 3D printer with dual Z axis. I don't know, I don't know what you want to do, but this board can do it, oh, something like that. And you have also some more connectors, also the probe. You have a five pin one connector for the probe. So I don't know how this is going to work out in the future, but we will see. And also some other things that are a little bit different located than the version 2 1.2. Every time when there are new upgrades coming, of course, Big 3 Tech is also going to upgrade their main boards. So, let's go to install this. But first, let's check what we are going to need. Well, we could use the USB cable, but it's not needed. So, back to the, there, the rubber ducky. I think it's not broken. So this one we are going to put here. Then you have also the cool fins. What we are going to need. Before we are going to install, what do we need? We need one normal flathead screwdriver and also an Allen screwdriver number two. So let's get into If this is the first time that you are exchanging your stock board, make sure that when you do that, that you take a picture of how all your wires are connected. The first time that I changed this, everywhere was some hot glue on the connectors. So you need to make sure that you remove them first. So I have installed my main board now at this moment, but if you're going to continue and you have also like me a TFT screen from Big 3 Tech with also the touch screen function, then take a look on the back side. In my case, you have multiple connectors, SD card, here you have some ports, USB, and then AXP2 and AXP1. But for the touch screen function, you need to attach the black cable as well. And then the question comes, 
you have the flat cable and the flat cable has a red line. The red line connector is going to come on this side. So when you're going to connect it, the cable with the most wires and the red line wire goes in a EXP1. The other one with a three cables inside, this one goes here. Okay, so now we are going to attach it to our main board. So when you are going to connect the power cables, take a look at the connectors before you start, because you have here the connectors. When they are loose, it's all the way down and it's going up. Maybe some little tip before you start with it. I also use this precision cordless drill to assist in that. So the power wires, where goes what? The wires for the fan on your hot end are going here. Next to it, the red and the black wire from the heat bed. Next to that one are the wires for your hot end. Fan, heat bed, hot end. So now we are going to um, attach the flat cable. The reason that I made this jumper is because of the very unusual connector. Because you need to have this cable attached or else the screen is not going to work. So now we are going to attach the flat cable and also install the screen and then we are going to continue. But now the time lapse. So I've started my 3D printer, my Anno 3 Pro. Yeah, let's go and do a home. Home. As you can hear, my fan is quite noisy. I still need to replace them, but it's only the fans that you hear and not the stepper motors. So the big 3TEC SKR Mini E3 version 2 is installed on my Anda 3 Pro. So to wrap up this video, when you want to upgrade your 3D printer a bit more in the future, with a second stepper motor for the z-axis for example or maybe adding a probe or a touchscreen the possibilities are endless with the big 3 tech skr mini e3 version 2 and exchanging them isn't that hard but make pictures before you're connect disconnecting all the wires you can use this video as a reference but better safe and sorry take some pictures and also when you want to buy this big 3 tech SKR Mini E3 version 2 mainboard, I will put the affiliate link in the description of this video. It will support my channel and I thank you very much for that. If you made it this far in this video and you're still watching, thank you very much. And on the end card, there are some recommended videos. If this video is ended, then you can still keep on watching. On Sakuri 3D Prints you find everything you want to know about 3D printing. Every Wednesday and Friday new upload. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and put on the notifications. So that being said, thanks for watching. Please like this video and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakuri 3D Prints. Bye bye.